Okay, back on the Beatrix Row. Well, still on the Beatrix Row, but we are going to push the button and make the jump. Why wait? This is the first breakthrough I've had since looking into this. After all, maybe I'll make progress before the, de the deletion game. I didn't hesitate to press the right button. I was no longer with a loud buzz noise from before, but rather a chime. The watch hand started spinning around, one clockwise, one anti-clockwise, as the two little panels began spinning through numbers before finally stopping when both smaller clocks reached 60. The two panels were at 17 on the left and 34 on the right. Those do not add up to 60. Just saying. Suddenly I felt sick, like I was going to throw up. Hey, wake up! Do you want to make us late and kill us all? Kinda. I begrudgingly opened my eyes. I feel like I've been hit by a truck and my head was killing me. Huh? Seriously? You are so lazy. And the sky is blue. At least, on Earth. I opened my eyes to see Beatrix and another woman staying over me. Beatrix? No, it's Santa. Ho ho ho, go the hell away. Does that make me Mrs. Claus? You're frosty. <laughs> sure, Bonnie. You're Mrs. Claus. Sock to the nose and she can be Rudolph. Dibs on eating all the food left out for you, though. No. We are a partnership and it's a 50-50 arrangement. Very well. I do look pretty good in red. Don't we all? What's happening? Bonnie, who are you? Um, Mrs. Claus? Do you not listen? Where am I? The Everett? Like you have been since your birth? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Maybe he drank too much last night. Or not enough. I sat up and tried to understand what was happening here. Wait, I never left the Everett. Leave? To go where? We were born on this ship, and we will die on this ship. And the deletion game. That never happened. <laughs> Are you messing with us? Please tell me you don't, you don't know what the deletion game is. No can do, sailor. In fact, that is why you have to get up. We're going to be late and Dai's going to kill us all if we are. But I don't know what the game is. None of us do. How would we? We'll find out shortly, like usual. We haven't stopped Dai? Nope, afraid not. We only have one of the pieces of the deactivation code. You have a piece? Bonnie and Beatrix looked at each other with more confusion. You're the one who worked out the deactivation code is made up of five words and that one of the clue pieces is per. I did? Yep. Now, can you and your amnesia hurry up, or none of us will live to see Die deactivated? Right, yes, of course. See you in the dining hall. Let's go, Mrs. Claus. Frosty. Oh, Santa. Bonnie and Beatrix left my room, where I stood stunned with my headache for a moment. A round of the deletion game? But what was the game? I made my way to the dining hall, where I saw the crew. Sora was there and some of the crew, but so were some other faces I didn't recognize. Eight of us in total. Ah, good morning. Lazy and the last to arrive as usual. What can I say? I like to stick to my patterns. Good morning, Di. It's nice to see another familiar face. Strangely positive this morning. And weird acting. Weird is right. He didn't even know who I was when I woke him up. <laughs> really? Well, I guess I would want to forget who you are, too. Not nice, Di. I thought we were friends. Bonnie jokingly pouted at Di. <laughs> we are, we are. Friends make jokes, promise. Bonnie looked up at Di and made a love heart shape out of her hands. All right, now on to the main event. Today's deletion game is called... Guess what number Di is thinking of? Is it pie? Wait, really? Why? What's wrong with that? I guess I was expecting something a little more inventive. Di seemed shocked at my statement, almost like what I just said was absurd. What are the rules, then? I thought guess what number I'm thinking of was pretty straightforward. So there's no video, no elaborate set of rules, just pick a number. Di seemed visibly irritated. Congratulations! You have volunteered to go first. What? No, I... Pick a number between 0 to 10. Go! Hi. But... Di's demeanor changed to that of a devil and her voice echoed throughout the ship with irritation. I said pick! 
<laughs> oh, crud. Um, so yeah, you're actually seeing this the way I am. It uh, does not display correctly. So the number I want is right around here, but I don't let you choose it, so we'll go with the one. Bzz, wrong! What number was it? I'm not telling you. The others still need to guess. But first, I must see you out. What? What do you mean? Please come this way, good sir, so I can eject you out of the ship. What? This game isn't over. It is for you. Before I could say another word, I was being firmly escorted to the docking bay into the airlock with hands holding me on either side. My escorts let me go as they push me towards the airlock section. It has been nice knowing you. Toodles! Airlock in the docking bay opening. How did this happen? How could I have failed? I still need to save everyone. I need to save Beatrix. Beatrix, I'm sorry. As the airlock opened, I felt a fierce suction on my body, but only for a moment before everything turned black. This game is to die for unlocked. So real quick, we'll open the tree so you can see. So this is the Beatrix route, apparently. So next up, we need to go back here. Wonder if Beatrix dies here. That would... no. Hmm. I don't know. We'll worry about that later. But there you go. You got to see the jump. And this one was slightly more productive. Huzzah!